Hello and welcome to this episode of Victoria with me, Skuz. And today we're going to be turning on our red circuit factory and moving on to our final resource factory of blue circuits. And once, once that complex is completed, uh, we will then be ready to make a start on our various uh, science pack complexes and I'm sure those those are going to be some complicated things so let's get this puppy rolling <coughs> so we want to I've got some pre-existing conditions here so at pickup uh, we want to be full and at drop off let's go empty then here <clears throat> I'm doing this little thing uh, on the a single item this part's not really that's uh, needed the reason I use the yard is I've had it in the past where the trains can get stuck elsewhere um, say at the mine because they've got nowhere to go so this is full um, it only plays a role if you actually turn turn them off so on a single one there it doesn't matter too much it's on these so what I used to do was if the this port was exceeded a certain value um, then this turns off that just helps balance the two lines um, where when this one's full because often what will happen is when there's the demand um, all the trains want to come into this first one um, and we want to keep it balanced so when this one fills up it'll jump force them to jump to the other one if there's enough trains which will probably be happen later on um, then these slots will be full and the train will have to come here but in this early stage of the game um, where I only have say three trains running they will literally just clog up just the one and won't spill over to the other um, there's probably other ways we can do it um, but this is the way I've got it implemented at the moment okay so plastic uh, oh and I just want to copy that recipe to this one here and I might as well turn the two of you on Cat plastic. You will wait. So the this is actually hooked up to each one, and this will be if it's below the minimum required level, sends a signal to say these guys can come. Let's just fill up the rest. And the other reason I do this is because these stations request more than, so they should actually be sitting at four, but I'm only running three trains. So basically it's so that it's the trains can come in and will wait there. <coughs> uh, no, no, no. It's not that one. Yeah, it's not connected there. Um, it's so they'll, if these are full, they'll sit and wait. Because um, what I used to do was turn this completely off when they got to 75% full, and that would force them across. The problem I found with that was, is when they both get full and they both turn off, the trains then get stuck at the resource pickup 
because <clears throat> they've got nowhere to go. So that's what the yard is for. So they will pick up and come to the yard. And then the issue I was having at the yard was if you don't include this circle condition, what they'll do is they'll hit the yard and they will, if there's a gap that this is still calling, um, it will just, the train will then come across and park in here. And if you've got, say, three, four trains, it will occupy the two lines and then start blocking this off. Um, there is another way you could do that where at the top here, where I've got these, uh, the rail signals, um, you put train signals everywhere. You don't use the rail signal at all. Uh, train all the way, and it looks like I'm missing some signals over here. Uh, so you use a chain signal. Now normally you would dump a normal signal right here. But you can clog this, the whole network up by doing that. So we leave that as is. So we'll still break the network up a little bit. So they will keep coming around. Okay, let's turn the plastic trains on. Okay, on, on, on. Okay, now I just need to make sure I don't actually have trains there, no. But I do have green circuits over here. So you are, whoops, no, come on. You will pick up. Okay, uh, and you're going to go to plastic. No, not plastic, red circuits, yeah. Red circuit yard, then red circuit drop off. Okay, condition, make sure we are actually wanting these at the time. So the reason I do the this 30 seconds and the empty, because what I've also had happening at a drop-off situation. Let's just turn these on. But I've had a, if we go have a look at a drop off, here's one happening right now. Even though these lines are balanced, you can have it that um, there's an uneven offload or uneven fill. Um, where more has gone in, like yeah, there's not a lot in there, but that's full. So what can happen over time, is, for example, these are empty, but some of these are too full. And what I found is a train could be basically seven, for example, of the cars are empty, and only one is still offloading. And meanwhile, these things have run dry. Um, so it's best that a train just, it can drop off its load, mostly in 30 seconds. Um, if it takes too long, it goes and the next one can come in to fill the back ones. As long as everything here is balanced, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, everything along here should use the resources at the same rate. Um, what I found it normally has an impact is if, for example, you're using copper pipe, uh, the copper or whatever it is, in two separate things. So some of the lines are feeding one type of um, build, 
or area and say some of the lines are in a completely different um, manufacturing row here and they're used at different rates that can cause clogging and a different offload on there so that just helps keep it all a little bit organized so let's see we're dropping off copper so far we've got our lovely line of wire here we go here's plastics pouring in coming on both sides it's good so we're just waiting for greens let's see how our greens doing waiting what are you waiting for Oh, uh, I've got conditions on the wrong place. Condition full. You must have the condition. Uh, one okay, equal to, and you should be up before the drop off. And of course. Okay, let's just wait for that and I'll copy the settings and just go dump it on the other two trains. There we go, here he comes. So I copy you. And put you onto those. Two. Okay. I suppose I could do more signals to help these trains come a little faster. Okay, it's only one side, but the other trains are coming. All right, so that is some reds coming out. Awesome, and then let's go build our red train. <coughs> oh, there's some... Looks like some rocks within the build here. They land up on the belt. Um, okay, if we want to get the color right, we can actually shift right click on that, which we already set, and we can shift left click on here, which will change. It's on the red, it's very subtle, <coughs> if anything at all. Now, full red, now, full red, okay. Um, let's just take out the stone. Okay, and no more stone in there. So now what I want to do is just... Uh, book it. This way the train can only pick up red circuits and nothing else. Okay, and then shift right click, shift left, click it down. Okay, end of train, let's give you some fuel. And actually we probably need to give you your own fuel intake. Okay, then I want to save this train. So we do a blueprint and we only want the train. So what is this? This is a train. It is carrying red trip chips and it is our uh, eight car. Okay, 
So red circuits, eight cars, and we're going to put it in our rail book. There's one here for eight, and we'll, we're slowly growing that. Uh, should have been doing it a while, but there's our book for fours. <clears throat> okay, so red circuits is going. How are we doing on power? We are hanging in there. Uh, power, uh, let's just take the pollution off. Uh, we can go here. Just checking the water levels that they are all above 10k at least there's some water lack of water i just struggling to pick up enough something I must keep an eye on so they are filling up quickly again but it's either in high demand we must watch either and you're going to need more trains or the most likely thing is we're going to need more pumps we're just not pumping enough water There I can add more pumps on, but it's also, yeah, you know, some space for more pumps. We'll keep an eye on that. Oh, there we go. We are not producing enough. Wow, that is insane. So I want to do this again, this type of build, other than we need to find a different way of this water. This is a crazy way of getting a water in. Um, and I think we must put it in a new location as well. Let's see how much space this will take. Uh, yeah, let's include all of that to there. Okay, I'm just going to put it on there for now. And where would be a good site for something like this? Here. Oh no, we need to make sure we can get in our trains. And potentially more, more of these. Uh, I need water on both sides of it. somewhere down here would be helpful along the coast here yeah. and the idea is to then build a trench um, to get the water in we'll try with pipes but uh, let's see where else can we fit a good array in oh, there's we are right on the rail line Maybe I can fit a little bit in there or here. <clears throat> here might be a good spot. There's a few spots here. 
Okay, so let's do... Do that. Okay, where is this purple guy? Whoop. You are going to come help build this out a little bit. And we're going to actually put a second one in straight away. And we're going to use waterfall. Oh no, I said pumps. But yeah, we will straighten out that edge a little bit. Between landfall and waterfall. I might as well also go there. There to there. Okay, they're heading there. Um, I think one of the things I would like to do is figure out how to make do a voting poll for you guys to have a look at to help make a few decisions. Um, one of the things I'm really contemplating um, I can't see it there yet is the tech um, is if I should introduce the Mark II um, so basically it will be there the Mark II Spidertron so basically it will come with a larger grid um, and same with the armor, um, the Mark III, and there's a Mark IV, but Mark III armor. So the reason I'm, the only real reason I'm considering the upgrades is for this part. So the upgrade will give you more uh, space for both it and myself. And the other thing is it introduces more some new equipment um, so a bigger shield bigger batteries and a, a bigger uh, fusion power but some of them occupy more space so I know the upgraded shield is a 3x3 three three, not this 2x2 two two. and the upgraded battery uh, is a two by three so it occupies six spots so that's why you need the bigger one um so yeah i'm gonna see if i can't create a poll to for you guys to vote on whether i should or should not um do that tech now it's not a, an immediate thing to once you get it you can just someone build it um we would have to find a dedicated space for it and it does require some time to build them and it is pretty resource intensive um, i suppose we can also dump in a couple of new solar farms i mean we can plop it down right here, do a massive solar farm together with nuclear power. Uh, let's just find the power <laughs> the power grid. It's in the middle of the night, so it's gonna be hard to okay there. 2.2k ish we got a huge reproducing half of what we need I mean three panels is giving us oh there we go it's going up One right there, it sure it gives me max output. 582 megawatts, but here it just doesn't add it up. It just says 60k, which isn't that the panel. Yeah, that's a single panel.
Their panel color is red. Okay, we'll wait for full daylight and I'll go, go reassess that. Okay, let's just get the space station built out. If you want to assess that solar, uh, the solar, and potentially just do a combination of nuclear and solar. hooking it onto the grid. And now we can see junction you into the main. Yeah. Okay. Oh, at least it hopped over. That's fine. Just hop these cables over. <clears throat> okay, daytime. Are we maxing out? I mean, okay, that is on three solar farms. I mean, to get up to that. I mean, 10, 20 solar farms or more. Or, let's see, if we copy that. So this is giving us a whole, okay, I'm just going to put it there. Uh, 140 megawatts for three. So 14... We'd have to build a lot of these things. Yeah, I think we can squeeze in a solar array in there. Okay, so if this is on and it's going to be requesting guys, so Let's leave that to build out. And then we'll come deal with the water afterwards. I'm probably going to build a second one of these right underneath. Uh, what I can do is just get this whole thing visible. I want, want to sort the water out before we bring in the second one. Let's just get all the power poles up. There we go. And then I want to put in one of you. Mm. 
Okay, so we'll leave that. Let's just, oh, let's check these things. Um, okay, I'm happy with that. We definitely don't need all of these things. Water pipes, definitely. We need all of that coming in. Let's just take you up to eight. Because we need a lot of this stuff. Uh, we don't need boxes. I don't think we need those. But we'll request it anyway. So let's see what's going on. No path, no path. Okay, they can't get you. Why? These. I was going to say, those are on the wrong side, but they, they're not. Those are all fine. No path. There's the exits. Uh... Okay, okay, I've got this completely in the wrong place. Oh, okay. We'll redo you. And we'll fix this mistake over here. Get straight. So, oh, is there an extra signal in there? I've got the in and the out messed up here. Okay, that's all fine. Okay, and we then change it over there. Let's just take you back a little bit. Uh, okay, so this is the out. Yeah, T junction should fit in there. Cool stuff, and then we hook you up like that. Okay, and then our power. And go there. And there. And you guys can connect. Like that. And then I need to repair this. I don't know what that was. No, you can't have that. No, what's going on? That is the exit. What is going on? So it'll come down to there. Uh, it's because this whole thing is switched to my normal route. Ah, okay, okay, okay. 
sorry about that. This whole thing is not orientated correctly. Let's get you one more. Apologies. I was getting myself all mixed up on what's going on. So, all of you are being cut. Except, just put that one back. And we're going to rotate this and put it back in. Which is obviously now facing the other way. Did I not? I did not cut enough. There we go. Fine, fine, fine. It just it took off a do from there, but that's okay. Deal with that, Let's get you built in. Okay, right, so this should be fixed. So this is coming in on the left hand side to there. Now it should <laughs> work. Oh, uh, what a bit of mixer upper that was. Now it's going to make a lot more sense. Where do you want to go? Coming in. Right, and then how do we get out? So we go this way. Maybe we'll get some traffic flow now. <laughs> uh, and of course, let's get power into the system. You probably don't need to be there anymore. sure we can exit out okay yeah there we go first train coming in and the nuclear one only even the building one okay but building is coming and are you coming where are Yes, you on its way. That's closed because there's nothing in it. Okay. Sure. So um, let's leave that to. Oh, interesting. Okay, there's nothing in there it actually needs to build, so that's fine. That is fine. So now I want to come here, and we're going to look at putting in that solar. 
as well. And this, this soda is also going to take some time to build out. Okay, so let's get rid of that one. Okay, wait, what is in here? Yeah. Okay, we don't need factories. We don't need belts. Uh, all inserters, all the little poles, all that big pole. Okay, uh, we don't need that robo port. do this we're gonna have an exit actually I'm gonna manually do it because it's gonna come from there and it's gonna come to here so I'm just gonna build a quick little Gonna be a build station, um, but it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Don't think I can do it that way because I need an in. That's the best angle I can get. So let's just make sure we do this right. Okay, network's all separated. Cool. And you can come along and join me. And we'll take this one out. Okay, do I have a solar pickup here? No. That's just plates. And the repairs. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, construction stations. If I don't have one, we're going to make make our own. Alright, so we're going to make our own train. So we'll start off on the side of things. Let's get a station in. And let's get power from here. And we're going to put in a train and a carriage. And in this carriage, I wonder if the recipe, yeah, it will. It's pretty even. Yeah, so let's see what we need. <coughs> We're going to need some of you. We're going to need some lights. I'm just going to put the easy stuff in in the beginning. And some robo ports. Robo port, robo ports. Yeah, because of robo ports, we're going to need robots. And substations. At least some substations. Uh, we're not going to put a normal building train here. It's literally just going to be these guys. Ah, what I'm going to do is I want some of that. Some of that. 
on hand. Boxes, do we need? No, that can come from me. I think for now we'll just leave it blank. And then we're going to need a lot of this stuff. And we'll put you on. There we go. So we'll do half the one and half the other. Okay, and then we need to offload the train. Uh, no, we're going to need the faulted ones. Okay, and we'll do that side because we don't need the stacks. Uh, no, not requester, providers. This one's going to take these. And we're going to put the rest in here. So I suppose we can all hook it up to... I'm going to try the ghost one for here. the rubber port the side and then possibly we're gonna swap these around Set this as set filter. Uh, I was going to stump the stuff everywhere. Fuel, it's not going to fuel up here, it will fuel up at the top. Um, Let's add in the signal there. And we're going to make space for at least only two trains. Yo. Okay, let's move. Just move you so it hooks up. You, we will. Ah, okay, we'll give you some fast fuel. Okay, so it's only going to drop off what it needs. together okay let's just hook this off there for now okay you can hook onto the back one so you are together you are going to hook onto this one so you are together Ok, 
Okay, so you are wanting that. Uh, how do we set? <laughs> I gotta remember how to set this thing up again. Um, coming in there. So you are gonna take. Come on, didn't change all the inputs. Multiplied by negative one, and you're gonna output each. So it's gonna take whatever we do have. Multiply negative one. And then we're going to add that to the box. And the box is going to connect to the filter. So if we add, say that. Okay, you are in build range. Oh, uh, idiot. Um, it's got to be a ghost. Uh, let's put down something I am not carrying. Like a red one. Okay, so there we go. It's going to request six. It's going to want to drop off only six but if we had uh well let's just use blue for an example so it's got blue and normally i like adding in a tower in between this That's where I can read the signals. There we go. Um, okay, so that should be sorted. So now I am... What are we going to call this? So this is now... A solar farm... Drop... Whoa, not prop. drop off and let's just give it some pretty pictures okay enable train limits yeah don't bring more than two trains in let us blueprint that yeah so this is solar farm drop Drop off. And solo. Something like that. Uh, train stop names and trains and don't worry about the fuel. Cool stuff, and we'll put it in our stations here. Oh man, we are running out of episode time. So now we've got that, we'll have to come over here and we'll have to build a solar pickup. So we'll leave the solar pickup for the next episode um, and get that going we didn't actually get to blue circuits today but we got our red circuits going and that is flowing nicely if we zoom in here ticking away brilliantly he's doing his thing we have got a new nuclear farm going how is that we'll definitely sort out the water thing there it's probably similar to what i've done here Okay, and we'll, we'll, we'll leave it there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.